So today I'm going to be showing you how I produce Thunder, my song together with Lumix and Prezioso. I'm going to rebuild the main parts of the arrangement, uh, so the drops uh, on Cubase, and I'm going to do it from scratch, so it's easier for you to follow. Let's go! Okay, so I'm going to start by importing the vocals. Here they are in yellow. It looks like the singer here has already done a great job on the vocals. As you can see from the waveform, they look already well compressed. So my advice is always take a look at the waveform. If you're handling vocals that have already been processed, just don't go overboard with it because too much compression will ruin the quality of your vocals. What I did here was just grouping all the vocals together. Then I added a um, very soft compressor. Then I add an EQ just to get rid of the low end and to smash all the resonances. Let's get ready for it. Then I added a Maserati vocal, which is a pretty good plugin for vocals. There's a lot of knobs you can play around with, as you can see here. But I recommend this preset here. It's called Push the Vocals. It just gets you going right away. So if you need uh, to bring your vocals up front, and to give it more presence, this is just perfect. I just turned down the compression knob a little bit, as I mentioned. Let's move to kick and bass, which is the, the core of the arrangement. Most of the samples that I used in this production are included in my sample pack that I recently released. It's called Essential Samples Volume 1. Just in case you want to have them, you find it on Splice. Like the kick, for example, let me import the kick I used for Thunder, which is uh, the number 9 from the sample pack kick section. Here's the kick. It's a pretty round kick, so I'm adding a trans XY to emphasize the transients and, and to give the kick more attack. Okay, there we go. Let's keep it very simple for the moment, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with it together with the bass to make some cool effects afterwards. Now the bass. The bass line of Thunder is made by three layers. There's a main bass sound, um, which fills up the low end, then there's a sort of percussion sound on top of it, to give also the bass more attack. And then there's a third layer, which is a stereo bass, uh, uh, to make it sound wider. I'm going to start with the main bass sound, and I'm going to show you how I did the sound on Serum. Okay, let's start from initial preset. Then I'm going to import a wavetable that I like. If you've never done that, you just have to drag and drop, like this, and choose the input option. I would suggest to go with one of the first three because the fourth line will split your, your input sample. So unless you're familiar with this FFT algorithm, I would suggest to skip that. Here's the wavetable. Then I'm gonna wrap the LFO around the wavetable position here. Okay. Enable envelope. There you go. Let me just play the melody line first, and then I'm going to layer all the sounds. Quantize. Okay, now, let me duplicate the MIDI event and load another serum and repeat the process just this time I'm gonna add another oscillator add some voices to this new bass 
to make it some wider in the stereo field, not right in the middle like the main bass. Here it is. Then I'm going to add the third layer, which is not going to be a bass this time, but rather a percussion sound, as I said before, just to give the bass more attack. In this case, I have this sound here. Also, a top of a kick would work. And here's how they sound together. Okay, now that I've found the right sounds, I'm gonna group them and process them all together. Not adding too much, just a, um, a compressor on top of the chain. Then uh, um, the candle crasher, then another compressor that triggers the kick for the sidechain effect. In this case, I use the FabFilter Pro C2. And um, yeah, at the bottom of the chain there is this um, Data Life Endless Smile plugin, which is a very funny plugin. I use this for you know to create this reverb effect at the end of uh, the bass pattern, like this. Oh wait, there's something missing. I'm gonna load um, another serum to do this uh, ooh, this pitch down effect at the end of each bar. Otherwise, it, it would sound a bit boring, I guess. Okay. Of course, now I'm gonna need some groove. Uh, so I'm gonna import some samples, but I'm gonna keep it very simple, like uh, uh, a clap, some hi-hats, a ride, and there's this uh, top loop which sounds good. I think I kept it uh, from the original demo, I guess, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna had some short fills, effects, white noises, wipes, and uh, you know, pretty standard stuff. You're gonna find all these samples inside my sample pack anyway. Now let's move to the uh, instrumental drop. I'm gonna show you how I did the vocal chop sound. It's pretty simple actually. It's three layers again. I use Nexus for that. All the three sounds uh, come from the EDM voices expansions. If you look for uh, good vocal chop sounds, uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna find a lot of interesting stuff in there. Here they are. The first one is, a, is the Melbourne vocal number two preset. Then the second layer is the Melbourne vocal number five. Third one is the Melbourne lead number one. Here's how they sound together. 
Okay, as you can see in the group, there is just a, a Kickstarter sidechain effect and uh, a limiter uh, because Nexus sounds are already quite compressed and um, I don't usually process them a lot. Just remember when you layer sounds from Nexus like this, uh, check that delay and reverb settings are the same for all the presets, otherwise, of course, they, they would sound a bit messy. One more thing I added in the drop is some brass tabs. I'm gonna use contact for that. Let me import the sound I chose. Write the MIDI notes. Sidechain. And that's it. Yeah, of course the production process was way longer than that and several people involved, which I would like to uh, mention, like my friend Prezioso and his producer who delivered quite a good demo of the song. Then my brother Lumix, who helped me finalizing the song. Andrea and Daniele, who helped me with mastering. Thank you all for streaming it. <laughs> so crazy, the song is flying. Uh, I'm so happy about that. Thank you. And thank you for watching.